side as well, adding a little bit more blue up into the tree because um, coming off the loose part, right? Loosen up your stroke and use a, use a bigger brush. We had the idea to recreate Gauguin's masterpiece. Where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? In a contemporary fashion. You squint, though. I think, really, I think the side needs to be more, less contrast and darker. To illustrate Boston today and the diversity and the, the kind of city that we are now. Displaying this piece at the Museum of Fine Arts will, without any question, be a, a pinnacle in our 14 years of evolution. In the beginning of the canvas, things were blurry, a little bit blurry. And as it moved to the elder section, there was more clarity of vision, mm -hmm. as if life is so like, fuzzy, you don't really know what you're doing. And then as you get older, things get clearer. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, then you die, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Artists for Humanity is a social enterprise. We train urban teams in fine and commercial art services and provide real product for real clients. Wow. What's it about? It's about greed. Greed? Greed and kind of death. Greed and death. How do you see something just dragonfly silhouette? The way I would define AFH is a chance an opportunity and it's a job for Boston teens that attend Boston Public Schools. The expectations that we have of the students, is, it's pretty high. One, it shows them that we have a very strong belief in what they do and what they have to offer. So this part will be coming the center. Yeah, not so much in the center. It's, 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 It's allowed us to show the students that you know, what you do does have value mm -hmm. to us, to themselves, and to the community. Because the shapes are interesting. If this was floating and you had all this extra space, you wouldn't even, your eye wouldn't go up there. Young people are paid a wage, starting at minimum wage when they're 14 years old, and going up to $10 an hour when you're a senior in high school. Let him move the tree over a little bit. Plus commission. You should stand up more and stand back, because you can't really see it when you're right on oven. If you got up and stood back, you'd see yeah. how to fix your fox. Huh? In the course of the four years that a young person's employed at Artists for Humanity, they have the opportunity to show their work in probably a hundred different venues. We have had annual exhibitions at the Nielsen Gallery on Newbury Street in Boston. And many of our kids probably wouldn't ever go into a gallery if they didn't come here. We in the gallery are always looking for real art. This is what these kids have. They're yeah. telling the truth, you know? Exactly. It's not about what you, how you can paint a painting to sell or how famous I'm going to get or all that no. stuff that has nothing to do with art whatsoever. These kids come in there and they're just painting their guts out. You know, they're so excited about it. In fact, the kids are working on their first oil painting of a contemporary version of Gauguin's masterpiece. Damon's overseeing the whole thing and it's to scale with Gauguin. Same composition, same color. Wonderful. Different images. Wonderful. It's actually going to hang at the MFA. Don't be scared of it. Just get in there and do what you have to do. Like, do you know 
that the only people that really get to that, that work hog up in the museum is like old people, people that already died already, like artists that just legends, but we're like young kids that it's just it's just great. Like, oh you have a you have a mural in the Museum of Fine Arts. When we initially told them that it will be displayed at the MFA, they almost jumped out their skins. I, I haven't seen them that excited about something since they discovered they were getting paid for doing what they want to do. Most people, they don't believe it. They're like, what do you do for your job? I'm like, I, I paint. They're like, you get paid to paint? I'm like, yeah. That's just what we're here for. You have to produce artwork. It's very obvious day after day that these kids are applying themselves. They're coming to work. They feel a sense of purpose. They feel a sense of being connected. And they take that and they extend it to their futures. In approaching one of the great monuments of, of world art, they've taken on a, a pretty big challenge. And yet I think these young artists have done a remarkable job of using its structure for a painting of their own. To see their vision of a Boston version come to life, it's really, it's really beautiful.